Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to show you another project I'm playing around with. Uh, this is a project where I'm trying to do a simple self-loop uh, system, style, or whatever you want to call it. As you can see, it is a pretty large wood model. Uh, I have here some drive coils. Here also some drive coils. I have here a PNP uh, MOSFET circuit. Here's also a PNP MOSFET circuit. Uh, this is a, you can call them self-sustaining because um, this one is being driven at this moment at 30 volt DC at 500 milliamp scale at 20 milliamps. This one. But while this one is driving the rotor, this one is also uh, filling up this capacitor, pulsing these coils and which also helps push the rotor and so on and to give you an example let me take my multimeter over here going to measure the voltage in the cap over here I have in there now 27 volt DC constantly because it is self-feeding the capacitor pulsing, self-feeding, pulsing, in other words it is pulsing for a while, then generator for a while and so on and so on. Now I'm going to put a 1 watt load directly on the output, just for the fun of it. Uh, let me see if that's the correct side, yeah that's the correct side. As you can see, pretty bright, and this side is slowing down, it's already pulling almost 60 milliamps over there at this moment this side is also still pulsing still driving the rotor and also filling the capacitor that's why you have the energy and this side will stay around eh, 29 and a half volt DC at let's say 60 milliamps doesn't go any higher so what I want to do next is uh, put maybe a diode bridge over here or something like that and connect this one to this side because on this side I only need 20 milliamps at well 30 volts I got here almost 30 volts on this side sorry so I just want to connect this one to this one and see how that goes give you oh yeah these uh, circuitry are running on uh, all sensor in there, have one over here and one also over there this one is for this side, that circuit this one is for this side, that circuit that circuit, sorry, <laughs> those coil bit of a mess, anyway and once again when I remove the one on this side it is now running 30 volt DC at 20 milliamps and it is a 24 pole wooden rotor I had it for a while already let me stop it with pretty large uh, I think they were N52 neon neon magnets you can see here, pretty large ones very strong well they're perfect for this kind of test uh, even if I remove this one remove that one let me put this is basically the same what I did with the uh, other circuitry which is again let me get some clips here which was with the um, reed switch and a neon bulb or a spark gag too I've had it, I have it here connected now as you can see this in there now one volt only give it some spin, as you can see it goes up pretty fast now the other side is also the same and let me show you that also it's a bit of a mess but bear with me you can see it is now on this side give it a little spin it's already there 
If I put my fingers over here, I can clearly feel it pulsing. So there's a good part. Simple system. Just another fun project to play with. And this is of course the timing wheel. Uh, 24 magnets in there. Here 12, uh, 12 trigger magnets. Just a fun project, nothing special. Next I will try to, like I said, put this one over here. Maybe I'll do it directly without any dials, but I think I need a dial to, uh, yeah, see how that goes. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching.